Hello, George Romanich here. Today we are going to do a demonstration of Charles' law. That's one of the major gas laws in kinetic theory of gases. It's experimental law and you will remember it says if the pressure is held constant, volume is directly proportional to temperature. Means we increase temperature, volume that the gas occupies will increase. A good demonstration is you take bottle and you put a balloon. There is a certain volume of air in this bottle and balloon. What will happen? Here is boiling water. What will happen when I put this bottle in boiling water? Let's see how balloon will behave. Oh, look. It's rising. Look at this. We are inflating balloon by putting it in hot water. This is how I inflate balloons on a daily basis, indeed. This is 73% of my day. Now, what is happening here? What is happening is that we have boiling water over here. Molecules of water are jiggling very fast, energetically. They transfer their jiggling on the bottle. Molecules of glass are also jiggling, but it's solid, so they jiggle in place. It's not hot enough to break their crystal-like structure, otherwise the glass would break. But their jiggling is transferred further on the atoms of, and molecules of air in the bottle. And they jiggle more, but they can move freely, so they move in any given direction. Remember our concepts of kinetic theory of gases. And as a consequence, they increase the volume that is at their disposal, and you can see it by increased volume of this balloon. Now, some of you might say, but wait a minute, this is quite similar to Gay-Lissac's law. Indeed. Gay-Lissac's law says if you keep volume constant, you increase pressure, temperature will increase. Or in you increase temperature, pressure will increase. You see, we are no longer increasing volume. The balloon is not inflating anymore, but heat is being supplied, which means we are slightly increasing pressure, but not to the point that balloon can inflate because the increase of pressure is not high enough to overpower the elastic forces of the balloon. So what's the point here? The point is that Charles' law and Gay-Lissac's law are closely related. We are transitioning from Charles' law to Gay-Lissac's law. And the last great law is Boyle's law or boyle mariotts law. Can we demonstrate that here? No. You remember for Boyle's law, temperature has to be constant. But here temperature was changing. In Boyle's law, if temperature is constant, any decrease of volume increases pressure. But easy demonstration of Boyle's law is me breathing. Temperature of air inside of my lungs and outside is pretty much the same. As I expand my lungs, what do I do? I increase the volume of my lungs, pressure decreases, and the air comes through my nose. So you see, in one video, there are three demonstrations. Boyle Mariotte's law, Charles' law, Gay Lissac's law. What happens if we put it outside of the... That's a good question. If we put it outside, follow me with camera. And I put it here, that's a very good question. Now it will start deflating because temperature is decreasing inside of the uh, air and consequently volume will decrease. Let's see if we can speed up the process. Is it a cold one? This is cold water. Let's see what cold water will do. I claim cold water will deflate this balloon. Look at this beauty physics. Beautiful, beautiful physics. Now let's discuss why this is happening. Why is this balloon deflated? Air 
inside of this glass bottle was hot because of that boiling water. Then what happened is this water was flowing across the bottle. Air molecules in the bottle are jiggling more on average than these molecules of water and they transfer their jiggling through the bottle to this water. Water is getting warmer, they are getting colder, but because they are getting colder, Charles Law says, okay, but in that case, you have to take away the volume. If we put this back into hot water, what will happen is that the hot water will inflate it. Just wait a bit, and I guarantee physics never fails. I guarantee that this will now inflate. Am I right? Of course I am right. Because I know physics. And there you go. Demonstration of Charles law using two different devices. And physics is just amazing. Thank you.